reward, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Jacked up and good to go. Peggy 16. Hello, hello everyone. I am Mr. Fulcrum, and welcome back to Indiana Jones and the Emperor's Tomb. We guys like the Peggy 16. Because I couldn't find the ESRB stuff, but because the ESRB stuff, it has to be specific to it, so... No way, hold on. Okay, no crash, good. Okay, here we are. Skip the idol Koru, Koruwatu, and your life! So the benefit about the loading is that it's actually really forgiving. It saves at the specific chapters. Onwards and upwards, Indy. There it is, the heart of Kuruwatu. Oh yes. Looks like somebody's been overfeeding the fish. If I don't get that monster out of the way, this is going to be a real short swim. Here we go. See what I gotta do? Come on, Indy, go, 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 go! Up, 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 up! How do I do this? <laughs> okay, so that's an insta-kill. Okay. Well, that's helpful to know. Okay, how do I do this? There it is. The heart of Kuruwatu. Whoa! Looks like somebody's been overfeeding the fish. If I don't get that monster out of the way, this is going to be a real short swim. Why aren't you going up? Okay. I gotta figure out how to get him over here. Hold on. Uh, 
Okay. How do I get him in here? Because I don't see him. Okay. Get him on the backswing. Okay, asshole, come on. Jibbing out over here. Look, Indy, I'm trying to see Mr. Giganto. Come on. go. Ah, yes. Okay. Now I can act with impunity. Oh, that was nice. Okay. Indeed, turn, turn, go. Go, Indy. Come on. Okay, turn. There we go. Okay, and up we go. And bingo. Yeah, puzzles are a lot easier when the thing that's threatening your life is not here to hurt you. Okay, up we go. Okay, let's try not to fall off. Okay, that was different. Beautiful. Ah, 
Ah, yes. Okay, let's... Let's have a quick drink. Guys, I've lost. It's a beautiful day for swim, is it not? Von Ruger? I would join you, but I seem to have forgotten my bathing suit. No problem. I can lend you mine. It's back at the hotel. <laughs> the famous American sense of humor. I never really understood it. Look, Hans, or Klaus, or whatever your name is. I don't know what you're talking about. But whatever it is, I'm sure we can cut a deal. Very well. Here is the deal. You will give me the idol. Now. Okay, okay, you've made your point. I've got what you want right here. Oh, that was a good right hook. Not the mama! You guys do not get paid enough for this. <clears throat> da da da! We have finished the Ceylon Tomb Baghdad. Welcome to New York, everyone. Welcome to Indy's classroom. Excuse me. The exhibit hall is upstairs. We are not tourists, Dr. Jones. I am Marshal Kai Di Chang of the Chinese Republic. This is my assistant, Mei Ying. So, oh, what can I do for you? What do you know about Qin Shi Huangti? The first emperor of China. He built the Great Wall and established a dynastic government that lasted for centuries. His reign lasted from 255 B.C. to... That information can be found in a school book, Dr. Jones. I My interest concerns the story surrounding, surrounding the Emperor's Emperor tomb. tomb. As you are undoubtedly aware, Emperor Qin is buried under Mount Li near the city of Xi'an. Yes, that's about all anybody really knows for sure. According to the legends, Qin's tomb is an immense underground city filled with unimaginable riches, which took thousands of workers several years to build. After its completion, all those involved with the construction of the um, tomb were sealed inside. The at least that's what the story clipping through the other. The, the pages are clipping through each other. Nobody really knows for sure. Yes, the Chinese people have always held that excavation and desecration of the tomb are one and the same. As a consequence, no one has ever been allowed to explore it until now. 
Why are you coming to me with this? Chinese history isn't exactly my specialty. It's your non-academic reputation that interests me. Have you ever heard of the Heart of the Dragon? Only in Chinese folklore. It's a mythological artifact like Excalibur or the Holy Grail. Ah, but unlike those flights of Western fancy, the Heart of the Dragon is quite real. A flawless black pearl that was buried with the Emperor. It's said that the Heart possesses the power to control the will of men. Look, I know you traveled a long way to see me, but I'm an archaeologist, not a mystic. Mm, then it's a good thing I came looking for an archaeologist. Superstitious folktales aside, the heart is a priceless treasure of the Chinese people, one that must never fall into the wrong hands. That is why China wants you to find it. Okay, let's say I'm interested. It'll take months of meticulous excavation to find the entrance to Qin's crypt. I wouldn't even know where to begin. On the contrary, Dr. Jones, you've already begun. Hey! What the heck is that? It is one third of the Mirror of Dreams. The mirror is the key to finding the crypt's entrance within the tomb. Okay. You do not realize the magnitude of the events you have set in motion, Dr. Jones. Even as we speak, others are pursuing the two remaining pieces. If they get the mirror, Nothing will stop them from entering the crypt, stealing the heart, and using its power to enslave the world. Ah, my apologies, Professor. My assistant is cursed with a vivid imagination and an impetuous tongue. Reminds me of my last date. In any event, the British government has graciously allowed me to take possession of this artifact on China's behalf. We want you to recover the final two pieces of the mirror, enter Qin's crypt, and recover the heart of the dragon. You'll become the most famous archaeologist in history. Will you help us? A chance to become the first man in the Emperor's tomb? When do we leave? I've already booked you a flight to Prague. It leaves tomorrow morning. Oh! It contains everything you need to know. Read it on the flight. Be careful, uh, Dr. Jones. The path to the dragon's heart is more dangerous than you can imagine. It always is, sweetheart. We're about to- this is my favorite level for one specific reason. <clears throat> this is the level that introduces improvised weaponry. I'll like, explain in a minute. <clears throat> After I'm beat, beating uh, members of Sir Drake over the head with his table leg. It's a period of like 300 years. Simply known as the defenestration of Prague, where they kept throwing people out of windows. Can't afford any trouble on this one. Okay. Give me that gun. Oh, bull rush. Okay, so I can... Okay, so if I hold it down... Okay, so I go... Uh, 
Okay. You can you hit Off you go. The defenestration of Brock, everyone. Oh, here we go. Do you have your papers? Nine, nine. Not intimidating enough. <clears throat> Show me your papers now, please. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Okay, down we go. Okay, let's... I mean, it could take the direct route. I think. Where's the fun in that? Oh! Ah, what? Huh? Yeah. Okay. Okay, what's up the other way then? Cool. I have a I have su suppressed Luga. Let us go inside the castle. Yeah. <laughs> Not too much more of this, I hope. Just keep your eyes open. Maybe when I'm done here, Herr Göring will give me that riding crop. Okay, so that's kind of locked. Okay, so oh yeah, I'm gonna look at my uh, controls real quick. It was first somersault. Okay, fine. Pardon me, dear Mark Connor. So need to get the uh, German, right? Son of a bitch. Okay. I'm going to be fighting with the camera with this one, aren't I?
Just let me live. Have my table like though. Oh, okay, that could have been really bad. No, no, Indy, I want you to pick up the table like. Thank you. Are you coming up? All right. Freaking German agents. It wasn't it, it Mr. Smith. Okay, cool. Just probably reload. be holding anything. Indeed, that hook is not that interesting. Okay, let's turn around and go up. The Americana! It's all I'm going to be hearing for a very long time. It's going to be that pedantic. Okay. Up we go, Indy. Wir können hier Hilfe gebrauchen. Out, son of a. It is safe to come here, good.
Okay. Oh, that's close. No, up. Nice. Indy, you are a dumbass. There we go. Puzzles like this. All right. Level exit. Thank you all so much for joining me today. I've been Mr. Falco, as always. The cowardly American is hiding around here somewhere. We'll see you guys next time for more of Indiana Jones and the Emperor's Tomb. I've been Mr. Fulcrum, and as always, have fun, leave sentence behind, and no matter where you go, there you are. And hopefully, Prague goes better.